Okay, so we're going to look at the supraclavicular approach to the brachial plexus. Um, we're going to take our probe and we're going to palpate the clavicle first of all. And we're going to go anterior to the clavicle and we're going to pop our probe on a kind of angle cephalad as if we're looking down into the chest, so we're looking into the thorax. Now, if we are too anterior with our probe, we are going to see our great vessels. Um, we then need to move our probe back so we can find our subclavian artery and position that somewhat in the centre of the screen. Below the artery, we see our hyperechoic band of our first rib. Um, we can see on the medial side of the artery, which is on the right side of the screen, we can see pleura clearly there. And we're just going to give a little bit of lateral tilt on our probe, which is going to give us a great view of our hyperechoic bundles of our supraclavicular plexus, sat on the lateral side of that artery. Um, if we scan or if we angle our probe a little bit more cephalad, we can see the anterior suprascapular nerve running off below omohyoid. Um, that's important to look for. It's very important to use our colour Doppler on this screen. And I'm going to take my pressure on and off um, just to see some of the vessels that can carry through that plexus. Um, we can quite often see the dorsal scapular artery, transverse cervical artery or the suprascapular artery passing through that plexus, as well as other branches of vessels. And as I take my pressure off, we can see a little vessel just there on the medial side of the plexus opening and closing up. So it's important to use colour Doppler in this system. Um, once we've got all of these structures together in a nice uniform shape, we're going to approach our needle. Our needle is going to be coming in from the posterior side of the probe, coming in through here. That's going to bring us in on this system from the lateral side, the right hand side, the left hand side, sorry, of the screen. And we want to position our needle down in what we call the eight ball pocket. So above the first rib next to the artery. Our C8, T1 branches are going to sit down there and quite often those are the areas that are missed with this nerve block where people really don't want to put that needle um, deep down to the plexus. We're going to do our first entry point into the sheath, hydrodissect through and position our needle to see good coverage. You may need to bring your needle back and position your needle anterior to the plexus and try and fill that sheath. Now, 20 cc's of local is normally a sufficient amount in order to, uh, to completely encapsulate that sheath and give you a great block of the brachial plexus, which is going to be sufficient for surgery of the forearm or the hand. So we can see on this screen, we can see the annotated artery, the brachial plexus, the first rib, the pleura, the anterior and the middle scaling muscles, and the omohyoid muscle.